So calling in right now to discuss that EP that I had just recently reviewed this summer. Some killer music, people. I'm telling you, this band, they're keeping heavy metal going with some killer music. I'm, again, I can't stop repeating myself. It's such great music. And Jarvis Leatherby, how you doing, dude? Good, man. Thanks a lot for the compliments. Thanks for having me. Well, again, here this summer, I can tell people I reviewed a lot of bands. And for some reason, I kept reviewing a lot of bands from Italy and Europe. And to finally get an American band that just brought it with those four songs on that album. How, how has it been, really? Because those four songs, usually you, know, you expect there to be a lot of music, but it doesn't matter. It's the quality. How has it been the reaction you've been getting from different reviewers, fans, you know, people that you're close to? How do they uh, like the music? And also yourself, how have you liked uh, how it's come out? Yeah, well, well I, I love it. But uh, the the reaction from from everybody else worldwide has been really kind of overwhelming. You know, like when we when we set out to do this, I mean, we we recorded that thing in one evening. You know, so we just kind of went in live and did it. The band had only been together for about two or three weeks. We had written those songs within like four jam sessions, and we, we you know we just kind of had an idea to go in and kind of you know just write the four best metal songs we could we could write by just, you know, just going for it. And That's kind of how it came out, you know. And I got to bring up here, what was interesting is I just recently was ref or referred to Clawhammer PR, and they gave okay. me this little description of you guys, and I hadn't heard much about it, and I was shocked to see you guys are from the Southern California area. Is that right? You're from Ventura? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so it, took, um, it took me by surprise. I was like, okay, because I'm up here in the North Bay. I haven't heard too much. And then just just start listening to the music. You guys were one of the first bands that I listened to off the uh, email I got from this PR company. And again, it was just really good music. So right away I said, this will be the first album that I review. And the four songs, I'm telling you, you guys really did pay attention to detail. Wow. Well, thanks, man. I mean, we kind of, I don't, I mean, that's a, that's good coming from you. From the band perspective, you know, I think there's a lot of mistakes on there, but I mean, that's kind of what makes it cool. You know, I mean, like we just kind of, we kind of went for it, you know, but, but definitely in the, in the writing, you know, I mean, if you grow up listening to this kind of music, you know, we weren't, we weren't trying to come out and uh, reinvent the wheel and try and do anything that was new and groundbreaking, to be honest. Exactly. Just, yeah. Uh, yeah. And that's okay. We're comfortable with that. You know, we just play the kind of rock and roll that, uh, that we like. Uh, but, you know, as far as uh, reaction from the from the public, it's been great. I mean, we just kind of threw it out there as a demo, and then it got, re like, it's an official, you know, cataloged release now on the label as an EP, and uh, it's going good. I mean, really, the street date is, you know, just happened August 20th, so there's still some life in it. Uh, we're going into the studio next month to do a full length, so by the time this steam runs out on the, these four songs, we'll be ready to put out a record. So. And I'm sure the anticipation people hearing that are, I'm sure excited. And again, you hear a young and hungry band on this EP, which I like. That's what I, again, I understand a lot of bands are not going to reinvent. To me, I've always said it's, it's pretty much been done. Sabbath is done in a way you could say. Yeah. yeah. So what I hear though, it's the drive. It's to keep making good music, keep the scenes going too. And I was going to ask you, cause up here in the Bay, to me, it's very selective. Once in a while, you'll have bands performing. Uh, the big band up here is a band that I don't know if you know Ghoul. They're a band that dresses oh, yeah, up and yeah, kills. Yeah, yeah. yeah the so, Tank Crimes band. The Tank Crimes. Yeah. So to hear you guys, I, I kind of want to know from your perspective, how is the metal scene down in L.A.? You know, it's weird. We're like a, we're, we're an hour north. We're like 60 miles north of L.A. Okay. Um, so but I, will, I will answer that question, though. The metal scene in L.A. is, is better than ever. Um, we do very well in L.A., and that's just, you know, nobody does well in L.A. That's the land of broken dreams, man. Exactly. You know, like, people grow up paying thousands of dollars to get their band to play the whiskey and open for some some has-been, you know? So, oh, yeah, like, like L.A. Guns. It's just, like, it's just oversaturated, <laughs> just like any Which major LA market. Guns? And people just don't go out anymore like they used to, you know? That's but, very uh, true. But, uh, but you know, L.A. has been great. Like, there's this whole underground metal scene coming up. Like, people, a lot, it's very close community, you know, and, like, they come out and support, and they're into their bands. The bands that they like, they like, and the bands that they don't, they don't, you know. It kind of feels like how, not quite to the same degree, but, you know, kind of in the early 80s, 
of what you guys had going on up there is kind of happening in L.A. That's the best way I could describe it. There's a lot of thrash metal bands out there, you know? That, exactly, and, that's and true. There's, there's a scene. There's a scene, you know? People know stuff. You know, the good bands, the good bands always kind of rise to the top, but none of the bands are at this level where they're just complete, like, superstardom, you know? So you got the bands like, like our buddies, like Holy Grail and Ex Mortis and like bands like this that are like they're touring with with Anthrax and Testament and whoever, but they have a home base here in L.A. and they still play regular shows here, you know, to like reasonable, you know, to like packed clubs. So it's 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 got a good energy to it right now, you know, until it gets oversaturated and then people hate it again, you know. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, people get tired and start listening to something else, but. Who knows? I still think this is good music, and I want to bring up here, you guys, which I find very interesting, your influences you talk about. You have a very strong New Wave British heavy metal sound. I can yeah. hear it on the EP. And yeah. you guys will be playing with two bands that I'm sure were huge influences on you guys <laughs> growing up. You'll be playing with Diamond Head and Raven. Yeah. Two shows. We're how playing two shows with them. We're doing L.A. and Vegas with them. I mean, how's that going on? For God's sakes, that must be like explosion right now i mean this is the kind of thing that's like you know when we started this band i mean one thing i would always say about night demon is it's not a super serious band but it's definitely no joke you know uh, but now it's getting pretty serious and there is a lot of pressure on us to you know write a good record which we feel we have but you know within lieu of that with you know starting the band if you would have told me that we were going to even play a show ever with diamond head and raven i would just you know kill me now i mean this is the this is great we're we're pumped and you know if the band ended after this i mean i can't i have to call it a success you know that's something the, positive the tradition yeah. of new wave or british heavy metal bands who knows maybe we'll just put out one ep and that's it <laughs> and then people will yeah. discover you many years later yeah and then you'll have a revival all of a sudden you'll be yeah coming out with a movie like anvil yeah oh, yeah <laughs> just go figure yeah, totally, there man. But, but yeah th those are those are great those are great. Between those two and, and playing uh, Keep It True Fest in Germany next year, we're booked on that. I was going to uh, bring that up. That's pretty big. You'll be playing overseas. And uh, by that time, you'll have the new album out maybe, do you think? Or... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So yeah, that, that will that yeah. could bring in a huge fan base. Yeah, well, let's hope so. I mean, um, we have, uh, you know, we're going to go in and do this record, and we're going to see where all the chips fall. Right now, uh you know, uh, we're with the, the EP has primarily come out like on Shadow Kingdom Records. Yeah. Uh, which is a great label. label, Manila Road, Pagan Altar, those bands on it. But, you know, we've been getting Ooh, like a lot of other bigger labels have actually been buying records from us directly, which is kind of funny. You know, like it's strange. Like, I mean, I think it's great. R really? But, Who? Can you yeah, uh, name mean, a couple? What's that? Can you name a couple? I, you know, I really shouldn't. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's, uh, I, we'll keep that under wraps I, until the time comes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't. I understand. I can't, but, but, uh, I understand. But, uh, maybe off air, sure. But, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> but I just don't want to put, leave anybody out there to dry, you know? But I mean, I understand. hey, that's, that's really cool that a lot of these big labels, like, you know, I mean, I don't know if that means that they want to do something or they want to just check out the band, but they're supporting an independent band, metal band doing its own thing. And I think that's great. I mean, that's the best sign of appreciation that I've ever gotten, like playing music as far as from the from the industry. You know, I mean, it's just it's good. They're really supporting it. They're exactly. paying. They're buying our records from us because they want it for listen for their own listening enjoyment. You know, so that's a that's good. Well, exactly. The exposure to me right now with this, it's great because you guys have posted. I've seen pictures on your Facebook page. I mean, your album's actually in stores. Oh yeah. I mean, there's bands. This is a really cool thing that you have hard copies available. And I really like what you did here because I bring this up, the importance. A friend and I did a YouTube video, actually, where we talked about the importance of physical copies of music. You guys, sure enough, have a 7-inch for this thing, for God's sakes. People can Not go out and buy that. Not only that, but we just, uh, we just uh, worked out a deal for uh, a, a run of cassettes coming out of the U.K. Cassettes for, now, uh, people. Probably around Halloween, so... This band has cassettes now, people. They have it all. Yeah. CDs. <laughs> just all formats. You know, you have to make your, your music available for the format that the people want. You know, I mean, a lot of the old school stuff is back, and I think it's great. 
you know. I I Chris can, this is a great. classic band with a cla- like you know or a classic sounding band I should say you know. Classic sounding band that I'm telling you people if you not check this band out, you're gonna I'll play some tracks for you. I wanted to bring up here now. You guys have a logo. It's on the video for the Night Demon. I wanted to bring this up here. It's very similar to the Desolation Angel- Angels logo. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> Did I catch you there? Did you guys? Are yeah, you guys fans absolutely. of Desolation no. Angels? Well, we, okay, so here it is. Here's the real story. Okay. A couple. There's a couple of our diehard fans that 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 know this, but never have I spoke about it. And I've never been asked in an official interview. So here you go. Here's the. Is the groundbreaking news, which will probably break us too. Uh, there's a book, there's a novel that came out, like an occult horror novel that came out in the 70s called Tainith hmm. by Jack Shackelford. And it's a British, on the cover of the book, it says, A Nightmarish Novel of Demonic Possession. Anyway, that image is from that book. Okay. Okay, so we we liked it so much. We wanted to put it on our on our backdrop. We thought it was cool. You it's know? very cool. <laughs> yeah. So so Desolation Angels is a great you know, band. I don't know this for sure, but they took it from that. I mean, for sure, and they altered it. And you know, great record, but the it's way it, it's it's not good the way that they altered it. I mean, if you look at the original, it's uh, it just doesn't stand up to it. So. That's where we got it from, probably the same place they did. We have reached out to the artist to license this from him to actually offer him money. But I think we, we were going back and forth, and then he never got back to us, so we ended up just doing it on a piece of promo, you know, basically. Gotcha. It, We've it, made some shirts with it, but, you know, we usually sell those for cost, you know, just kind of to keep it cool. But, I mean, we don't plan. I mean, that's that's probably not something that we'll run with after this record comes out. You know, we're actually, we've developed a, a mascot, if you will, a character who is the Night Demon. And he's got his own story, and you'll see him on the cover of the first album. I'm telling people, this is, I, where I, again, something I like about this man. They have characters. They're going back to, like, Iron Maiden and Megadeth. They actually have people that you can associate the band with. Just got to yeah, put a guy absolutely. on stage dressed up. Yeah, even the guy, the guy on uh, the the... The, the priest on the cover holding the chalice on the cover of our EP he uh that you know he is a character as well oh, that you'll, you'll find out about there's songs about that character on this upcoming record so you know some information to keep the people interested definitely yeah great and I'm gonna quickly bring up here I think this will probably be one of the last questions man Bay Area do you guys plan to come up here sometime and play some shows man you know what like it we really do. We really do want to do that. Um, it's tough. I it's understand. It's interesting yeah. that it's interesting that we, you know, we haven't really, not not too many people from that area have have really reached out to us, like in the way of a show offer or anything like that. Okay. Um, but I mean, I, it, we'll do it. You know, we're close enough. I mean, it's a six-hour drive for us. So, uh, yeah. you know, I know there's stuff going on at Eli's in Oakland and stuff like that. I mean, really what, what our ideal situation right now in the Bay Area would be to come up with a and play with a band, with a local, like, in the metal scene, you know? Yeah, that's what I was going to pretty much say. Yeah, I mean, we could come up on our own, and we would, but uh, that's kind of what we got to we got going on. So any of you bands out there listening, if you want us to come up and play a show, Please hit us up. We will definitely be there. Nightdemon.net, or you know, you can find us on Facebook, and uh, we'll we'll be there. We will get the word out here, and people, I'm telling you, check out this band, like their Facebook page. And if you're listening right now, and you are a label or promoter in this area, let's get them up here. Let's get this uh, music out here, because I, from what I heard from these four songs, there's promise, people, and it's again classic heavy metal, and this is what this show is all about: hard rock, heavy metal, new, old. And this is the stuff that you just, I got to tell you, man, it's great music. Straight up great music. So, cool, man. Thanks, Robbie. Jarvis, thanks for calling in. Keep up the good work, and I can't wait for that new album, dude. All right, man. Take it easy. You too.